So friends, in this video, we will see 60 plus MCQs which has been asked in your exams and there are higher chances to be asked in your upcoming exams too. So for your upcoming exams, these MCQs which I will discuss in this video are very important. Do not, do not miss any questions and go through each questions go through deeply if you do not uh, if you don't know the concept then also you just remember all the questions it will be very helpful in your exam so without wasting any time let's proceed with the first question and the first question is which of the following statement is true about the relationship between phase velocity and group velocity option is the velo the group velocity is always greater than the phase velocity the phase velocity is always greater than the group velocity and option C is the phase velocity and group velocity are equal. Last option is the phase velocity and group velocity are independent of each other. And the correct option is option number C. The phase velocity and group velocity are equal. Okay. Moving to the next question. Which type of waves have a negative group velocity? Waves with the negative phase velocity or a waves with the po positive phase velocity and option C is waves with a constant phase velocity and last option is no waves can have a negative group velocity. Correct option is option number A. Waves with the negative phase velocity has a negative group velocity too. Okay. Next question. Fiber optics. Use what medium to send information? Very important questions and uh, it's easy questions though. Option is photons, light, electrons or phonon. So fiber optics uses light medium to send information. Option B is correct. Next question. Single mode fibers allow single mode propagation. The cladding diameter must be at least what times the core diameter option is thrice option is sorry twice thrice five or ten times correct option is d only cladding diameter must be at least ten times the core diameter okay next question the reflected power is the greatest in which of the following incidents is it 45 degree, 30 degree or when it is perpendicular or almost parallel. Correct option is option C, perpendicular. Next question, what are the three basic parts of an optical fiber? Option is core cladding and coating. Option B, whole seal and coating. Option C, inside, middle and outside. Last option is fiber, kevlar and jacket. Correct option is option number A. Core cladding and coating are the three basic parts of an optical fiber. Next question. The approximate wavelength of operation for glass optical fiber is in which of the following range? Is it 1 nanometer to 700 nanometer or 9 micrometer to 20 micrometer? Option C, 1600 nanometer to 9000 nanometer. And last option is 700 nanometer to 1600 nanometer. And correct option is D only 700 nanometer to 1600 nanometer. Next question. The manifestation of the band structure in solid is due to which of the following? Option A, Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Option B, Pauli's exclusion principle. Option C, Bohr's correspondence principle. And last option is Boltzmann law. Correct option is option number B. The manifestation of the band structure in solid is due to the Pauli's exclusion principle. Okay. Moving to the next question. Guys, all the questions which I am discussing has been asked previously in your exam and higher chances to be asked in your upcoming exams. So do not miss any questions and just do subscribe the channel for more exam ready content. I make the videos for every year students and for every exams. So subscribe the channel for the better score. Nine number question. Diffusion current is due to option A applied electric field over a given distance. Option B variation in carrier concentration. Option C recombination of holes and electrons and last option is random motion of holes 
करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन बी डिफ्यूजन करेंट इज ड्यू टू वेरिएशन इन करियर कंसेंट्रेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द सीजो इलेक्ट्रिक मटेरियल्स यूज फॉर कन्वर्टिंग एनर्जी आर कर्ल्ड ऑप्शन ए ट्रांजिशन डिवाइस ऑप्शन बी कन्वर्टर ऑप्शन सी डाई इलेक्ट्रिक एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज ट्रांसड्यूसर एंड करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज लास्ट ओनली ट्रांसड्यूसर इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ऑप्टिकल फाइबर कम्युनिकेशन ऑप्शन ए फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन ऑप्शन बी पॉपुलेशन इन्वर्जन ऑप्शन सी टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज डॉपलर इफेक्ट एंड करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ऑप्टिकल फाइबर कम्युनिकेशन वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हैज मोर डिस्टोशन ऑप्शन ए सिंगल स्टेप इंडेक्स फाइबर ऑप्शन बी ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स फाइबर एंड ऑप्शन सी इज मल्टी मोड स्टेप इंडेक्स फाइबर एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज ग्लास फाइबर बहुत दस ये बहुत दो ऑप्शन बी एंड सी आर कंफ्यूजिंग बट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सी बट स्टिल इफ यू हैव एन एनी कंफ्यूजन यू कैन आस्क मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स आई विल ट्राई टू रिप्लाई ऑल द क्वेरीज यू कैन आस्क एनी क्वेरीज इन इफ यू हैव डाउट इन एनी क्वेश्चन आई विल रिप्लाई फॉर श्योर ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नोन एज फाइबर ऑप्टिक बैकबोन ऑप्शन ए टेलीकम्युनिकेशन ऑप्शन बी केबल टेलीविजन ऑप्शन सी डिले लाइंस एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज बस टोपोलॉजी करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज बस टोपोलॉजी बस टोपोलॉजी इज नोन एज अ फाइबर ऑप्टिक बैकबोन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट हैपेंस टू द फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स व्हेन एन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज अप्लाइड ऑप्शन ए दे मे रैंडमली रैंडमली एंड कोलाइड विद ईच अदर दे मूव इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द फील्ड they remain stable and last option is they move in the direction opposite to that of the field and correct option is option number d they move in the direction opposite to that of the field next question is the statement diffusion current produce drift current true yes diffusion current produce drift current is state this statement is true so option a is correct okay next question What is the average net velocity in the direction of electric field? Option A, velocity of electrons. Option B, velocity of holes. Option C, drift velocity. And last option is collision velocity. Correct option is option number C. Drift velocity is the average net velocity in the direction of the electric field. Next question. Which of the following is true regarding insulators? Option A. the valence band is partially filled with electrons option b the conduction band is partially filled with electrons and option c is conduction band is filled with electrons and valence bond empty and last option is the conduction band is empty and valence band is filled with electrons correct option is option number c conduction band is filled with electrons and valence bond empty next question Which of the following parameters can't be found with Hall effect? Option A, polarity, conductivity. Option C, carrier concentration. Last option is area of the device. And correct option is option number D, area of the device. Moving to the next question. In the Hall effect, the electric field is in x direction. Listen to the question carefully. The electric field is in x direction. and the velocity is in y direction what is the direction of the magnetic field very simple question the direction of the magnetic field is in the z direction next question when the temperature of the either n type or p type increases determine the moment of the position of the fermi energy level option a towards up of an energy gap option d towards down of energy gap option c towards center of energy gap and last option is towards out of the page and correct option is option number c towards center of energy gap next question which of the following is not a property of energy material engineering material sorry option a mechanical properties option b chemical properties option c polymorphism and last option is electrical properties correct option will be option number c polymorphism is not a property of engineering materials next question which of the following attributes explain why pure metals are not frequently used in engineering application 
वेरी कॉमन बेस्ट क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन ए सॉफ्टनेस हार्डनेस ब्रिटलनेस और लस्चर करेक्ट ऑप्शन है ऑप्शन नंबर ए ड्यू टू द सॉफ्टनेस प्रॉपर्टी प्योर मेटल्स आर नॉट फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज इन इंजीनियरिंग एप्लीकेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which of the following easily adapt itself to a store electrical energy? Option A, passive dielectric. Option B, superconductor. Option C, active dielectric. And last option is polar molecules. Uh, most of the people will confuse in both the options, passive dielectric and active dielectric. But the correct option is option number C, active dielectrics. And the next question is which of the following restricts the flow of electrical energy? Option A superconductor, option B passive dielectric, option C polar molecules, and last option is active dielectric. And correct option is option number B passive dielectrics. Next question: If a material is ferromagnetic, what shall be the value of X? Is it negative, small and positive, large and positive? Insufficient information to convey. Next option correct option is option number C large and positive is the value of X if the material is ferromagnetic. Next question material in which magnetization persists even after the field has been removed are called option A diamagnetic, option B paramagnetic, option C soft ferromagnets, last option is hard ferromagnets. Correct option will be option number D hard ferromagnets. Next question at high temperature a ferromagnet becomes what? Is it diamagnet, paramagnet, paramagnetic, hard ferromagnet or soft ferromagnet? Correct option will be option number B at high temperature a ferromagnet becomes paramagnet. Next question. Piezoelectricity is shown by substance which are option A polar, option B non-polar, option C symmetric and last option is asymmetric. Correct option will be option number D. Piezoelectricity is shown by the substance which are asymmetric. Next question. The ideal superconductors exhibits option A mesmeric Masonry effect, option B, mesmeric effect, option C is mesomeric effect and last option is monomeric effect. Correct option is option number A, mesonry effect is the correct option. Next question, superconductors are discovered in the year, option number C is correct, 1911. Superconductors are discovered in the year, 1911. Next question, the mathematical precision perceptions of the gradient is said to be option number a tangent option b chord option c slope and last option is arc correct option will be option number c slope next question which of the following maxwell equation use curl operation option a maxwell first and second equation option b maxwell third and fourth equation option c all of the four equations and last option is none of the equations Correct option will be option number A, Maxwell first and second equation. Next question, the stock theorem can be used to find which of the following? Option A, area enclosed by the function in the given region, volume enclosed by the function in the given region, option C, linear distance and last option is curl of the function. Correct option is option number A, area enclosed by function in the given region. Next question. The continuity equation is a combination of which of the following laws? Option A, Ohm's and Gauss law. Option B, Ampere laws and Gauss law. Option C, Ohm's law and Ampere law. Last option is Maxwell law and Ampere law. Correct option is option number A. The continuity equation is a combination of Ohm's law and Gauss law. Next question. In free space, the Poisson's equation becomes what? Option C is correct. In free space, the Poisson equation becomes Laplace equation. Next question. You need to remember all the questions. All the questions are very important. And guys, please do subscribe the channel for more exam ready content. Please do. It's really motivate me. Your one click to the subscribe button really motivates me to make such a great content for you guys only. Moving to the next question, the first Maxwell law is based on which law? Option A, Ampere law, option B, Faraday law, option C, Lange law, and last option is Faraday and Lange law. Correct option will be option number D, Faraday and Lange law. Next question, both the conduction and displacement current de densities, 
को एग्जिस्ट इन विच मीडियम ऑप्शन नंबर ई वनली कंडक्टर्स इन द ईयर ऑप्शन बी वनली डायलैक्ट्रिक्स इन द ईयर ऑप्शन सी कंडक्टर्स प्लेस्ड इन द इन एनी डायलैक्ट्रिक मीडियम लास्ट ऑप्शन इज बहुत डेंसिस्ट एंड नेवर एग्जिस्ट करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल ऑप्शन नंबर सी कंडक्टर्स प्लेस्ड इन एनी डायलैक्ट्रिक मीडियम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन The Gauss law employs which theorem for the calculation of charge density? Option A, Green theorem, Stock theorem, Gauss theorem, or Maxwell theorem. Sorry, Maxwell equation. Correct option will be option number C, Gauss theorem. Next question: The reason for the non-existence of magnetic monopole is option A, the magnetic field cannot be split. Option B, due to permeability. Option C, due to magnetization. And last option is due to magnet to restriction. करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड कैन नॉट बी स्प्लिट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ यूनिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लेजर ऑप्शन ए डायरेक्शनल ऑप्शन बी स्पीड ऑप्शन सी कोहेरेंस एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज वेवलेंथ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट क्वेश्चन इवन इट इज इट इज ऑलवेज आस्क इन एवरी एग्जाम्स इवन इन इन प्रीवियस ईयर गेट एग्जाम दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्क ओके एंड करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी Due to the coherence property, the coherence is the unique property of laser. Next question: Which of the following Einstein coefficient represents a spontaneous emission? Option B is correct. A to one. Next question: During population inversion, which of the following proceeds in is dominant? Option number A. Stimulated absorption. Option number B. Stimulated emission. Option C. Spontaneous emission. Last option is spontaneous absorption. Correct option will be option number B. Stimulated emission. Next question. The lifetime of metastable state in a ruby laser is what? Option C is correct. Ten to the power minus three second. Next question. Which material is used for cooling of the ruby rod for efficient continuous operation? Option A, CFC, liquid helium, liquid oxygen, or liquid nitrogen. Correct option will be option number D, liquid nitrogen. Moving to the next question, the HCN laser operates at a wavelength of option A, 540 nanometer, 632 nanometer, 690 nanometer, or 770 nanometer. Option B will be correct. This is 32 nanometer. Next question: Which of the following is the characteristics of semiconductor lasers? Option A: Outputs in visible region. Option B: High efficiency. Option C: Output in ultraviolet region. Option D: Pulsed output. Correct option will be option number B: High efficiency. Next question, guys. I am requesting you to please click on the subscribe button. It really motivates me to make such a great content, guys. Please, or you just no need to do anything. Just go and subscribe the channel. Just click on the subscribe button, guys. Forty-seven number questions in the CO two molecular gas laser transition takes place between option A molecular state, option B atomic state, option C vibrational state, and last option is energy state. Correct option will be option number C vibrational state. Next question: What is the principle of fiber optical communication? Option A frequency modulation, option B population inversion. Option C, total internal reflection. Last option is Doppler effect. Correct option will be option number C, total internal reflection. When more than one mode is propagating, how is it dispersed? Option A, dispersion. Option B, intermodal dispersion. Option C, material dispersion. And last option is waveguide dispersion. Correct option will be option number B, intermodal dispersion. Next question. Holography is based on the principle of option A interference, option B diffraction, option C inter interferometer, and the last option is polarization. Correct option will be option number A interference. Next question: The hologram found on credit cards are are an example of what? Option A volume hologram, option B rainbow holograms, option C reflection hologram, and last option is hybrid hologram. Correct option will be option number B, rainbow holograms. Next question: Which of the following statement is true about wave particle duality? Guys, I am so I am just showing the questions of all the next four uh, 
I'm just so I will just show the answer of next four questions because the options are too lengthy. I don't want to waste the time by reading the options. So correct option will be option number B. Particles can exhibit both wave-like and particle-like behavior. Next question: What is the Heisenberg uncertainty principle? Correct option will be option number A. It Heisenberg uncertainty principle states that the position and moment of a particle cannot be precisely determined simultaneously. Next question: Which of the following is a consequence of Pauli's exclusion principle? Correct option will be option number B. Two particles cannot have the same spin simultaneously. Is the consequence of Pauli's exclusion principle? Next question: What is the difference between a bound state and a free state in a quantum mechanics? Correct option will be option number C. A bound state is a state where the particle is confined to a finite region. While a free state is a state where the particle is not confined to a finite region. And next question, and this is the last question also. What is the turning in a quantum mechanics? Option A, the reflection of a particle from a potential barrier. Option B, the transmission of a particle through a potential barrier. And the correct option is option number B only, the transition of a particle through a potential barrier. So guys, this was the last question. If you guys have enjoyed watching the videos, please do not forget to subscribe the channel and share this video in every group. Thank you so much, guys. Bye bye. I will make the uh, three more videos for unit number four, fifth, and sixth. All the last three units are very important for your upcoming exams. So do not forget to watch that video. I will upload it by tomorrow only. Sorry, by today only. Thank you so much, guys. Bye bye.